Hey Pixels, in this week's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a color palette for your UI designs. Now I'm going to dive into how I went from this color palette to this final color palette that is visually pleasing to the eye as well as accessible. By the end of this tutorial, you'll leave with a new approach that you can use when creating color palettes for your future design projects. For this color palette, I actually drew inspiration from this minimalistic photo of a plant in a terracotta pot. I'm a big fan of its simplicity and earthy colors. I think this is a really nice photo that we can use as the base or foundation of the color palette. To establish the color palette, I'm going to sample colors from the photo. Using the eyedropper tool in Adobe XD by hitting I on my keyboard, I'll roam around the photo and grab a primary color, secondary color, accent color and two decorative colors. Now that I've chosen all the colors I want in my palette, we'll need to further refine this color palette. The primary color is the dominant hue in your design. If there was a number to represent this, the primary color would take up around 60% of your design. The secondary color is the color that would take up around 30% of your design. Lastly, the accent color is the hue that you'll see around 10% on a design. The accent is commonly used on call to actions or elements that you really want to draw attention to. The color palette is nice and cohesive, but there's a few things I don't like about it that I'll need to refine. First, although the secondary color is green, it's a bit of a swamp green or a muddy green. There's too much yellow in this hue. I want this green to have a bit of blue in it, so I'm just going to adjust the color via the color picker and add more blue. Secondly, the accent color just looks like a tint from the primary color. There's nothing about it that stands out or grabs attention amongst all the colors in the palette. A good accent color should really stand out. To find a strong accent color for this color palette, I'm actually going to look for a new color that still complements the secondary color. To do this, I'm going to grab the secondary color's hex value and search for it on a website called Color Hexa. If I scroll down, I can see some color schemes made with this hue. Already, I can see that this wine color is a complementary color. If I select it, it will show me different tints and shades. So I'm just going to explore this color some more until I find one that I like best and add it to the color palette as an accent color. Now that I've established my color palette, I can refine it even more by grabbing both tints and shades from each color as needed. In Adobe XD, I'm going to use a plugin called Color Scale, which makes it super easy to make tints and shades from any color. With my primary color selected, I'll select the plugin, set scale mode to white color, uncheck include end option, and click OK. Now, I'm going to repeat this with the scale mode to black color. I'm going to repeat this for all the colors in the palette. Now that I have both tints and shades for all colors, I can further refine my color palette. My primary color will most likely be used as a background, and if I find that the current color is way too saturated, I'm going to need a lighter tint of this color that would be better suited as a background color. I also think that the secondary color and accent color could be a bit darker, so I'm going to replace them with darker shades of each color. Now I'm completely satisfied with my color palette. 
The colors look amazing. The accent color is a nice contrast and really draws attention, making it the perfect accent color. You can even take this a step further by selecting just a few shades and tints for each color in the palette. Keep in mind that the tints and shades you choose is not set in stone. It's just a matter of seeing what works and what doesn't. It's all part of the process. Leave a comment below and feel free to share any tools or resources that help you create color palettes. I'll see you in the next video.